Hey, what's up all you Tabaholics? This is Paul here, aka Paul Apusa, back with another video. Yes guys, Pokemon Go is now out in Singapore since the 6th of August. Everybody is into it, everybody is going around places and getting out of their houses. And today, we are going to feature the ultimate, ultimate Pokemon mobility vehicle for you guys. So if you're interested in that, just stay tuned. Guys, do not drive and play Pokemon Go at the same time. It is irresponsible. Do not drive that for the safety of the others around you. Please do not play and drive. Which brings me to the best vehicle to use for Pokemon Go to go around from stop to stop. Now, a lot of people are walking, yes, and there are some people who use their bicycles. I've even seen a kid that is trying to do a Pokestop while riding a bicycle. Very, very dangerous. Please stop and, and play your game and then move on. So what happens is someone posts that they've seen a Mew or a Mew 2 or a Dragon Knight on the other side of the island. You can't possibly ride your bicycle there. So what happens? You need something that is mobile, mobile and portable. What you need is a kick scooter. And this is exactly what I bought today, which is the D-Max 9, and it cost me about $85 uh, from Taobao. So we're gonna unbox this, and we're gonna play some Pokemon, and we're gonna see how this thing does, and give the ultimate review for the ultimate Pokemon Go mobility vehicle. Let's do it. So here it is guys, the D-Max 9 kick scooter. Packaging seems to be in Korean, so I reckon it's Korean. Comfortable, convenient, safety, style. Let's open this. Nothing fancy. It's only the kick scooter that's inside. Some accessories. A manual, some tools, and a buckle, I think. First glance, it really seems very light and portable. I can really care I can really carry this with one hand. Very, very light, about 5-6 kg perhaps. Wow, I believe uh, what's inside is actually a safety light that is on solar energy. There is a solar panel in front of the light. And this can be easily attached to your, your kick scooter. So you can either set it to a uh, blinking mode or just on all the way and off by the touch of a button here comes off easily with the press of the latch and release. Really nice light they have included here. Some paperwork. They are all in Korean. And we've got some tools here. A set of Allen keys in different sizes. And the strap. Which is D-Max. Adjustable as well. So there it is guys, the D-Max 9 White Edition Kick Scooter. I, I can't stress how light is it. It's, it's like um, 6 kilograms, 7 kilograms, 6.7 kg to be exact. All you have to do is just release the catch here and you can bring this up. And it's as easy as that. There is no side stand. And to release, all you have to do is press the lever down here and it goes down like that. So we're gonna release and set up the handlebars. Release the catch of the handlebars. And there are two spaces holding the uh, handlebar slot. So just remove that. Just put those in. And once you hear a click, and that's it. Tighten back the handlebar. So the scooter is height adjustable, so you can actually release this catch. And then you can bring it higher or lower. Pretty cool design, it even comes with a water bottle holder. The step itself, you can see the um, there's an anti-skid mat. There is a see-through portion here where you can actually see the suspension. It's actually mounted on the underside of the kick scooter itself, which is here. This is the suspension. As you can see the spring here. There is also a front suspension which is within this uh, cylinder itself. One of the key issues I had with my electric scooter earlier was the shock absorbing capabilities. Um, every bump on the road I can feel on my handlebar and it gives me 
uh, an ache at the end of the day. And, and this solves it all, you know, with the suspension system, I can now ride comfortably on the kick scooter with a front back suspension like this. That's all you need to absorb all the shocks and bumps on the road. Each wheel is about 200 mm. This will allow you to go further with one single stride. So we're gonna check it out later. Brakes are here, again on the back step. So guys, the build and quality of the kick scooter is pretty amazing. Everything seems to be very sturdy. It is not heavy. I'm not sure what kind of a material they use. I reckon it's a bit of steel, a bit of aluminum here and there. It's one of the best uh, kick scooters that I've seen with amazing quality. So we're gonna go out and play some Pokemon. Let's do it. So guys, after playing around with the scooter for some time, this thing is absolutely amazing. It checks all the ticks that I'm looking for in a portable scooter. When I buy a portable scooter, it has got to be light so it's portable. It's got to give me a smooth ride so the suspension must be good. And thirdly, bearing must be good so that one stride will give me a longer distance so that I don't have to use so much energy. And this thing, it checks everything that I wanted in the scooter. It is light, definitely. I feel that it's very, very portable. The quality is amazing. The bearing on this, 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 this scooter is absolutely awesome. One stride would probably give you about half a basketball court, if not longer, you know, on a flat road. Of course, on the uphills, it's a shorter distance, but that's expected. The ride is very smooth. The brakes work well and the suspension just absorbs all the uneven surfaces away. I used it, it's comfortable, it's not giving me the bumps. That's one of my favorite features of the scooter. Now, anything that I dislike about the scooter, uh, I can't find any. I don't like that it's not electric, but <laughs> this is a different product altogether. So guys, I definitely recommend this scooter if you're looking for something like this to serve your purpose. If yours is to play Pokemon Go, this is the ultimate machine. And with that, we've come to the end of the video guys. If you liked the video, do leave a thumbs up down below. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Paul here, signing off. Ciao.